is the code wizard AVR software. We can generate code from here. So first we select the chip ATtiny2313. We'll take the default 8 MHz clock, which is the internal clock of ATtiny2313 default. And then we'll select maybe the ports. So let's say if we want to blink one LED of ATtiny2313 of uh, Eureka board. So LED, one of the LEDs is connected on port A bit 0. So we give it as output. We can select in interrupts if you want. So there are switches which can be selected as interrupts. If you want a timer, we can select the timers, different configurations, everything we can do it here. We can give project name. Let's say we give hello world version V. 0.01 author technology ahead T4U so we can give our information here some comments LCD we can connect it to port B here if we want one wire interface is there some other things if we want an ADC uh, analog comparator there is an analog com comparator on ADT2313 I square C port is there UART is there so if you want to do a PC communication you can connect a UART port and there is universal serial interface, SPI, I square C, everything is there. So all these configurations as per a requirement we can do. So right now we just want to blink an LED. So we'll select this port A bit zero as output. So if we go to program preview it shows the code. So this is the generated code, it is done all the basic configurations. Now we just have to write the code to blink this LED. So with this our code is done. We can do generate, save and exit. So it will create a project file, it will create a C file and it will create a code wizard file. So we will make a folder. Hello world. We will save it as Hello world dot C Hello world dot PRJ and Hello World. So with this our project is generated there everything is done. Our code is ready. Excuse me. Now we have to write the code here which we want that is blinking the LED. Port A dot zero equal to one. So this will switch off the LED. Now because the LED is pulled up on yeah, Eureka board, when you send one it will give a 5 volts and both the terminals of LED will have same voltage and it will be off. Then we give a delay. So I give a 1000 millisecond delay, that is 1 second of delay. Now we again want to switch on the LED, so we'll give a port A dot O zero equal to zero. So 
so this will switch on the LED and we can give a delay land square is 1000 so first we switch off the LED then we give a one second delay then we switch on the LED and we give a one second delay now we are using this delay underscore ms that is number of milliseconds delay fun as a function so there should be a header file which defines this function so the header file which defines delay function is delay dot h so I'll include delay dot h and our code is done so in this code first when you see this program is produced this all is just basic information of this code project hello world this author technology ahead whatever information we had given it has created this code according to that so basic information is there whatever we had given then these two header files are there tiny 2313.h explains about the microcontroller to the code then delay.h is for the delay function then main function In the main function first the crystal oscillator is initialized for division factor of one, then input output ports are initialized. Now port A initializes and bit zero is output, others are input. So data direction register of A is set to one. That is for port bit zero. If port bit one was used and port bit zero was not used, only one was used, it would be two. If both one and two was used, it would be three, according to binary. This gives the output 0, port B is not used, port D is not used, timers are not used, so all these are initialized to 0. Now with this our code is done, we can save the file.